Welcome. This is the third episode of Treasure Collector. I'll be opening more boxes. I wanted to open mystery boxes with my daughter. And uh, I've put some of the boxes that had toys away for her. I'll be saving those for her, for some of her videos. She wants to make videos. And uh, without further ado, let's go open more boxes. We're, we're getting through the pile pretty good. I already turned on the light. Uh, so let's just get going. Here's one. This one says Old Glass Jug and Arizona Pottery. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, look, it's an old glass jug. Some of these can be expensive. I don't know. That maybe looks like an older one. I don't know anything about these, but it looks like a old glass jug. <laughs> that is what it looks like. And what is this? Arizona Pottery, I'm guessing. Yeah, well, what was written on the boxes has been fairly accurate so far. It's a vase or some kind of pottery. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's yeah. like some somebody made that with clay or something and they bought it in Arizona. Oh, look at that. What does that say? Betty something, 1985. Huh? 1985 pottery. Jeez, we'll just put those. I'm gonna wrap that back up in this, kind of nice. Maybe I'll keep that and put flowers in it or something like that. My daughter seems to pick all the flowers in the yard. Let's get another one. I like opening these mystery boxes. What is that? Kitchen thing? It's like a serving tray, maybe? There's a few of these boxes in here. We're just sort of opening with kitchen stuff. Yeah, this is a kitchen stuff one. There's a rope. And we're gonna we're gonna look through this box even though it doesn't look that interesting and i'll show you why i found this this sheffield english cutlery box oh and i've already looked inside this but it's missing right here what looks like the roast poker and it's missing whatever goes there a smaller knife and then it's missing a couple steak knives right there so we're gonna look through this kitchen box and maybe we have those things so that i'll have a a full set of regent english cutlery that is in one vintage ice cream scoop, that's for sure. Look at that. Nothing interesting. What is that? Is that like a rolling pin that has a lid that you can take off? Don't sniff things. There's plates. That's got to be plates. And they're not antique china. So what do we have here? Coffee cups. Certainly that's a coffee mug. Max. I know somebody named Max I can give that to. White Spot. Wow, that's a vintage White Spot mug right there. I'm gonna bring that to White Spot next time I go there and ask him to put coffee in it. Well, that's kind of a nice mug. That's some pottery there as well. Somebody's made that. Is that like a tea cup? Let's put that back. We, we did not find one of those cool missing knives. Not looking for kitchen stuff at all. Let's get another box. Books, books, books. Lots of boxes of books in this thing here. Old books, yes, old books. Perfect. These are stuck. What's that? Evidence of love. Firing Len. Lynn. To Marjorie Chambers. The Firing Line. Okay. So that's an antique book, probably. The Restless Sex by Robert oh W. God. Chambers. How old is that? 1918. Worth, worth checking out. Maybe it's worth a read. The Covenant. These are the same. Uh, there was another box of books that had this stuff, the origin, first edition, the Franklin Library. D. Brown, Franklin Library. Now God be thanked, Franklin Library. The collected stories of Eudora Welty, Franklin Library. The Al Alstaid, Thornton Wilder, first edition, Franklin Library. Black Knight, Snow White. There's another antique book, Delicia. I don't know that, this is pretty old and beat up. 1907, well that's worth looking up. Blue Hurricane, this one is The Little Ark. And that is short stories of James Lara, New York. What is that Love is Eternal by yeah. Irving Stone? James Farrell, thousand dollars a week and other stories. There's the Desert Realm. The unboxing of the storage treasures by me. We'll put these books over here. Let's go get another box of treasures, shall we? It's not very heavy. There we go. Put away my special Sheffield knives. If I find the rest, I'll probably just keep that. Let's see what's in here. Is that, is that a hat? Made in Taiwan. What is this? Like a, it's for sewing pins. Oh yeah, okay. Perfect, I have a sewing pin thing. What's this? It's like a, like a I feel like this is like a Japanese thing or something. It's a lantern. Oh, cool. It's a lantern. It's a Japanese lantern. What's that? Country house fragranced pot. Oh, look, it's like potpourri in there or something. All right, what do we have? What's this? There's something. Ow, it's sharp. What is that? Some kind of like collector thing that balances maybe? Or a hook of some sort? Do you know what that is? 
Leave a comment below, please. That would be great. What's this? A little clay animal. There's another one. I feel like those are little cats that you know, somebody, a kid made maybe. Japanese something. Oh, it's a kaleidoscope. That's what it is in here. It's like a little donkey carrying a thingy, carrying a bucket. It's for eggs. Yes, it is. It's an egg cup holder. It's an egg holder. What's that? It's a bear. What's it for? What's in this one? Oh, there's another one of those little cats. Oh, it's another cat. No, that's a skunk. It's a piece of wood. Oh, look at that. Ten Commandments. Thou shall have no other gods before me. Thou shall not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shall not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Yeah. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against the neighbor. Thou shalt not covet. I, I knew a couple of those. I didn't know what most of them were. It's a dog. It's like a chihuahua inside a bowl of fruit. That's very nice. Look at that. What's in this? It's, what is that? That's a raccoon. And another raccoon. Oh, it's a raccoon with his baby. Cat, it's a cat. How did I know it was a cat? What's this one? I'm gonna guess cat. I wonder if these people like cat. That's a giraffe, I think. It's like a plastic giraffe. How about this one? There's a bunch of these things in the box here. Oh, it's a toy car. Look at that. Is that a Hot Wheels? Made in China. Is that some kind of antique car? An owl. Look at that. That's nice. Bet you my daughter will like that. She likes owls. The pumpkin. Oh, there's something else in here. I'm gonna guess pumpkin. There's a pumpkin. Oh, let's, yeah, like a Halloween thing. Skunk, oh, that goes with that one. It's a pear. I wonder if there's a baby skunk with that. It's a pair of owls. Cool. Elna. When was this wrapped up? These are falling out. They're kid clay thing. Clay mushrooms, clay broccoli. Or is it clay? I don't know. Seems like a kid made it though. There's one more. What is that, carrots? Oh, more carrots. There's the celery, more celery and more celery. Sure have a lot of celery. It's a pumpkin, warning. Oh, it's a candle. It's a candle, it doesn't smell like anything. Else. There's a duck, that's watermelon or something. I... More clay vegetables. What do you do with that? Oh yeah, maybe the bear. So you could put things in that, like money. What's this? Ooh, little jewel thing, little pin. There's a husky. That one could be gold, probably not, but you never know. And there's a little gold fit. That's not Nemo. There's Jester and the Sheriff and the cowboy hat and Uvit. Cool. That is a children made blue bowl. Eastern Conference, there's Mary Lemieux right there. Look at that. And that's Eric Lindros, I think, right there. It's a clay plate. I'll just wrap this back up. I like this bear. I'm gonna wrap that back up. There's a doily. Are doilies a thing anymore? Does anybody like doilies? It's kind of a cool owl, I like that. Another box, let's do it. I see some toys there. That's got Lego in it. I saw inside that a little bit. Not much in this one, it's a lamp. It's upside down. I'm not even gonna pull it out. It's an upside down glass lamp. This one's a bit heavy. Feels like either books or personal paper. I hope it's antique books and not personal paper, but it's looking like personal paper. Come on, pile of thousand dollar bills, cards. Let's find a new one. This one here says toys. So let's, uh, let's open this and then I'll hide it so that my daughter can open it again. What have we here? All right, this is like a farmhouse. There's Ronald, there's Ronald. That was him for Halloween one year. All these are little kid toys. There's, I'm not seeing any of these being actually, you know, valuable toys. Oh, what's this? That's kind of a treasure. Gemstones of Arizona. There's Peridot, Jasper, Onyx, Rose Quartz, Carnelian, Petrified Wood, really? Obsidian, Amethyst, Magnesite, Hematite, Turquoise, Quartz, un, un, Unikite, 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 I don't know. Let me know how to say that. Rodonite and Adventurine. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's kind of a cool little treasure. My daughter can open this and be extra happy with her McDonald Land farmhouse. Let's get another box just for the heck of it. Let's do one of these big tall ones. There's a few of these. This feels really empty. Lampshades, it says lampshades over here. It probably is lampshades. It's uh, lampshades, trashed lampshade. That's too bad, there's two of them in here. Here's another big one. We'll move some of these things over a little bit. What does it say on there? Tupperware, oh perfect. It's a box full of Tupperware, forget it. Let's get another one. 
This one's falling apart, so we might as well get this one. There was a lampshade on top that I looked at. It was a glass lampshade. So let's just get the stuff out of here. What do we have? <laughs> a chair clock. What do we have? All right, what's this? It's, uh, it plugs in. It's a light. That's yes. kind of neat. Look at that. That's kind of nice. Somebody will want that. Oh, look at that. That's got oil or something in it. That's like a vintage oil lamp. Little. There's another lamp. There's another one. I feel like this is the same lamp. It's good. I'm kind of short on lamps. Like an antique jug with it's a carving of a, oh, it's a wooden carving of a guy. Desk lamp. Stuff is falling out of the back of this. That fell out of the back. It's like a camping lamp. Yeah. Get some stuff out of the back before it falls out. Look, my grandparents had some of these. I remember these kind of things. And they even had ships on them too. Look at that. Brass ship. Any of these Queen Anne's Revenge? Made in England. Wonder if those are worth anything now. I feel like uh, secondhand stores are full of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is heavy and gonna fall out. So let's open it and see what it is. It's wrapped in a blanket. It must be special. It, bars of gold. I think this is bars of gold. Nope. Ah, oh, it's broken. Look. Here's another one. Oh, it's another. It's like a gold panning guy. Look at him. I'm gonna. Do, I've always wanted to do some gold panning. So this is kind of cool. Maybe I should put that in my treasure room. I'm gonna have a treasure room as soon as I find more treasure, and then it'll take up a whole room. What do we have here? basket of matches Whoa. what about this one that goes on top of that there's one of those I've seen lots of those what do we have there paper feels like a treasure I think it's a treasure it's a uh, like a lighthouse or something oh you put candles in there and then it glows probably all a little night night candle thing this one feels a little bit heavy Antique jug, maybe? I hope so. It is an antique jug. James Buchanan, distillers yeah. by appointment to His Majesty the King. Oh my God! That sounds like an antique. NB, James Buchanan Company Limited Distillers. I'll have to look that up. Maybe that's like a hundred year old bottle of whiskey or yeah. something. His Majesty the King. Well, Queen Elizabeth has been in power since the 50s, I think. Oh, there's another one of those. Where's the other oil lamp then? Oh, right there, yeah, look at that there. It says conch shell fragile. Let's see how big this conch shell is. Oh, there it is right there. I bought one of these when I was in Mexico. Oh, it's cut on the end too. How do you do it? I don't know how it works, but this one's cut on the end, so they, they've they've done it right there, so that you can you know blow on it and you know make a noise, basically. Cool. These are like three dollars in Mexico or five dollars or something like that. They uh, they eat conchas in Mexico. <clears throat> it's, all, it's on the menus, just like calamari. It comes fried up and like like calamari, but still kind of a neat treasure. And that's it. I'm gonna have to put all this away. So that's it for uh, for this video. I hope you uh, enjoy the video and uh, come back next time. For you, the next video will be in two minutes. For me, it'll be as soon as the rain stops. It's gonna rain for another week, so I won't be able to uh, open any more of these boxes for another week. But uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share the video. Until next week. <laughs>